The Tesla Model S Plaid is out now, and it's achieving some pretty wild specs. According to Elon Musk, quote, Tesla Model S Plaid is alien technology. The reason he's saying it's alien technology is because not only is its 0 to 60 time impressive, but the power curve from 60 to 200 is equally as impressive, maintaining 1,020 horsepower the whole way. This leaves many wondering just what the Tesla Roadster will bring. If the Model S Plaid is already the quickest production car ever, what is Tesla going to do with the Tesla Roadster, and what are other companies doing at the same time? Today we're going to break down the new Tesla Roadster and the competition headed its way, so let's get into it, and a special thanks to Canva Pro for sponsoring this video. Tesla revealed the Roadster all the way back in 2017 as a surprise following the Semi event. Funny enough, they unveiled it with the plaid animation and all. At the event, they unveiled what Elon called the base model for the Roadster, with a 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, 0 to 100 in 4.2 seconds, a quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds, top speed over 250 miles per hour, and 620 miles of range. It's all-wheel drive with a base price of $200,000 and a Founders Series at $250,000. It has been four years since that unveil, and at the time, Tesla said that the Roadster would come in 2020. Obviously, it is heavily delayed, and Tesla is very much prioritizing the new Plaid model. Model S, which is getting fairly similar specs. Obviously, there's a difference between 1.9 seconds and 1.99 seconds on a 0 to 60, but here are the Plaid specs. The Plaid Model S starts at $129,990, gets a 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds, a top speed of 200 miles per hour, a 9.23 second quarter mile at 155 miles per hour, and a range of 396 miles. This car is available today, so we'll be comparing this and the Roadster with other electric hypercars coming in the near future. For the Roadster, Tesla will surely need to bring out more impressive specs than what was announced. Elon called it the base model, and with the Model S coming in fairly close to that, the Roadster has something to prove. This is why Elon Musk has talked about some insane features that may come to the Tesla Roadster. When on display at the Peterson Museum, the placard said, quote, demonstrating the versatility of electric power and adding extra distinction to the car's already high performance, an announced SpaceX package would outfit the Roadster with cold air rocket thrusters positioned at the rear, allowing for a 0-60 to 60 accelerator acceleration time of 1.1 seconds, a rate largely unprecedented among modern road cars. To this, Elon Musk responded saying, quote, yes, with the SpaceX rocket thruster option package. It will be safe, but very intense. Probably not wise for those with a medical condition, same as a hardcore roller coaster. So if this comes, it could bring a pretty insane 0 to 60 that in turn will bring an insane quarter mile. It would share a similar power curve to the Plaid Model S accelerating up to its promised top speed of over 250 miles per hour. Here's a render of what that cold gas thruster could look like in action if Tesla truly develops it. Additionally, Elon Musk has talked about wanting the Roadster to hover. Quote, this will actually be able to fly very briefly. I always laughed at flying cars and now making one. Fate loves irony, ha ha. Obviously, those are features that don't necessarily have to do with top speed and performance, and that's the area many will be looking at for an electric hypercar. So Tesla has their offerings, with the Roadster possibly adding rocket thrusters, and then there is Remac. Remac is an all-electric hypercar company focused on ultimate performance, and they just recently joined with Bugatti for a new joint venture. However, before this, they already had their Remac Nevera. This vehicle gets better specs than the Plaid Model S, and once it enters production, could take that title away from Tesla as the quickest production vehicle. It has a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack with a quad motor setup. For reference, the Model S Plaid and Roadster prototypes use three motors. The horsepower on the Nevera is 1914 with a 0 to 60 in 1.85 seconds and a top speed of 258 miles per hour. They have also focused on battery cooling, allowing for the car to access peak power for longer periods of time. According to Remac, the software can make, quote, over 100 calculations per second to tailor the level of torque to achieve the desired drive driving style. Now this is a true hypercar, and part of what makes it that is its price tag of $2.4 million. This is over 15 times the cost of a Plaid Model S, but if we're only comparing price today, we won't get very far. The point is to see what electric vehicles can do, and some of these vehicles are going to get crazy. The Remac Nevera is a two-door sports car with a focus on aerodynamics, speed, and much more, thanks to some features like the adjustable rear wing and air brake. Based on the listed specs, this car should be beating nearly every Bugatti 
in every way, aside from the top speed at this point, and that's likely what led to Remac taking over Bugatti. The kings of hypercars have been well established for a long time, but now with the advent of electric cars, we are going to see more and more electric offerings from these brands. There are too many advantages to ignore, and when a four-door sedan can beat a Bugatti at the drag strip, it's clear that electric brings performance advantages. Ferrari is working on what they call their first mainstream electric model, currently called the 296 GTB, although it's still a hybrid. Many point out some design similarities to the Tesla Roadster when seeing this new concept vehicle, and its specs are very impressive, as you'd expect from a Ferrari. It should get a 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed over 205 miles per hour with a price tag over $300,000. Right now, this is Ferrari's only true electric vehicle effort, still relying on a hybrid, but they plan to unveil their first fully electric vehicle in 2025. Quote, we are very excited about our first all-electric Ferrari that we plan to unveil in 2025. We are continuing to execute our electrification strategy in a highly disciplined way. Over in Japan, the Aspark Owl is a 1,984 horsepower electric hypercar that is claimed to 0 to 60 in 1.7 seconds. It starts at just $3.56 million, and you can request to put your order in on their website. As we'll see with many of these vehicles, tracking them down is not the same as ordering a Tesla, and that's because they are hand-built, crafted machines coming in at millions of dollars. Still, it's fun to see what other companies are doing and what the fastest electric car out there truly is. We'll get into a few more cars competing with the Tesla Roadster in just a minute. Real quick, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Canva Pro. Canva Pro is the easiest design platform that anyone can use. It helps anyone create stunning content for every project or task, including professional videos, social media posts, presentations, posters, and much more. No matter what you're creating or sharing, Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, and a subscription includes over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Canva Pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up the creative process, making it an incredibly quick, easy, and affordable way to design. I have used Canva Pro for a long time, and I particularly love how easy the interface is to use on the web browser as well as in the app. Additionally, it has templates for every size post I can need, so I don't ever really need to look that up. Instead, I just click Instagram post and can start from scratch, or choose from a wide variety of great looking templates. Now, aside from the basics of templates, easy resizing, and great fonts to choose from, Canva automates a lot of tasks for you, saving you a ton of time. My personal favorite tool is the Magic Resize tool. If you've ever had to make a graphic for something and then had to post it on multiple platforms, you've quickly found out how much time it takes to truly optimize your posts for each platform. You can copy and paste things, but you do all of the resizing manually. With the Magic Resize tool in Canva Pro, you just click the size you need and it automatically resizes it to fit your needs. Then there is the Background Remover tool to quickly and flawlessly remove the background from your photos when needed. It's incredibly easy to use and edit if needed. Then if you need to make something but you don't have any of your own content to draw from, Canva Pro has millions of options to choose from in every category. I especially love Canva Pro because it works great as a desktop app, phone app, or simply in the browser on any computer. Design like a pro with Canva Pro and try it for free for 45 days by going to canva.me slash Ryan Shaw. Again, that's canva.me slash Ryan Shaw for 45 days free. Another electric hypercar comes from Genovation. They're an EV startup and unveiled their GXE a few years back. Quote, the GXE starts with a race-inspired aluminum frame engineered in America. From there, we build a sustainable all-electric reimagined classic with 800 horsepower and 817 pounds of torque. The GXE once again breaks and holds the world record for the fastest street-legal all-electric car at 211.8 miles per hour. If you click to reserve a GXE, there is a note that says you can get one of just 75 bespoke units worldwide, so it's definitely not a simple vehicle to buy. What you may notice about this car is that it's a Corvette Grand Sport converted to be all electric, but there has been a lot of change, clearly. The specs of the GXE are a 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds, so not breaking much there, but a top speed of 220 miles per hour and 800 plus horsepower. The 60 kilowatt hour battery can go roughly 130 miles on a charge. 
Next is Karma, who you may have heard of. Karma specifically makes luxury electric cars, and their GSE6 touts a range of 300 miles on a 110 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. However, their SC2 vision concept is what they say is pushing new boundaries. The specs on this car include 1,100 horsepower, a 0 to 60 under 1.9 seconds, faster than the quoted times on the Roadster and Plaid Model S, as well as a 350 mile range. That's definitely one of the longer ranges on these electric hypercar concepts that we have seen, aside from the Roadster. The exterior definitely has a definitive look, and pricing hasn't been announced, so it really seems to be a concept at this point. Draco Motors is yet another company working specifically on electric hypercars. Their Draco GTE touts specs of 1200 horsepower from four motors, a top speed of 206 miles per hour, and a 90 kilowatt hour battery. In Motor Trends review, they said it's a driving enthusiast's dream, but again, it's limited edition and costs $1.25 million. The Pininfarina Batista was unveiled back in 2019 as, quote, the world's first pure electric luxury Hyper GT. The specs of this one are impressive, as you'd expect, with 1,900 horsepower, a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour or 217 miles per hour, a 0 to 100 kilometers or 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 2 seconds, and a range of 500 kilometers or 310 miles. First deliveries of this vehicle are actually about to begin shortly, but it's interesting to note that it uses a lot of Remac technology put inside a Pininfarina body. This car will cost you up to $2.8 million, and they've quoted their 0 to 60 as 1.8 seconds, right around what the Remac Nevera gets, beating the Plaid Model S. Next, from Neo, quote, designed and engineered from the ground up, the EP9 delivers an unprecedented performance level and a driving experience unlike any other EV with zero emissions. This kind of vehicle combination is a first in the EV world. The EP9 is promising 1,341 horsepower, a top speed of 195 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Back in 2017, it set the record for the fastest autonomous car in the world, and one big feature is its quick battery swapping. From Lotus comes the Evaya. They're aiming to push the boundaries of modern hypercars, and this one is fully electric. For price, as expected, the Avaya will start around $2.3 million, estimated by car and driver. It will provide 1,972 horsepower, a top speed over 200 miles per hour, an 80% recharge in as little as 12 minutes, and a 0 to 60 that should be well under 3 seconds, although Lotus is focused on what happens after 60 miles per hour. According to Lotus, quote, we're not challenging the laws of physics going below 2 seconds to 62 miles per hour and then having a low top speed. This is pointing at many other EVs that have a crazy insane acceleration but slow down after you reach 60 or 80. The Lotus is focused on performing up to that top speed in the same way that the Plaid Model S does. One incredibly interesting electric hypercar is the Hispana Suiza Carmen. This company has roots all the way back to 1898, and now the naming is being used for this new 1,000 plus horsepower vehicle. This car has incredibly distinct looks, almost looking like a Batmobile, and its top speed is 155 miles per hour with a 250 mile range. The upgraded version gets a 0 to 62 in under 2.6 seconds and tops out at 180 miles per hour. Orders for this car are up as of last year, and it comes in at approximately $1.83 million, with first deliveries scheduled for 2022. In the next few years, we are going to see many different electric vehicles come to market, as well as many electric hypercars. As cars like the Plaid Model S, Roadster, Remag Nevera, and every other car I talked about in this video start proving themselves, people will want to push the boundaries even more and focus on electric hypercars. There are a number of concepts out there without details, and one of them comes from Lamborghini. This concept was unveiled in 2017, and there have been no words on the plans for it. Back in 2018, it was said that Lamborghini would be making a fully electric vehicle, but not until 2026, so this could still be the timeline we're working with on this concept. From Porsche, a new hypercar is expected to come after 2025, and it is also expected to be fully electric this time around. Porsche has had success with performance on the Taycan, and they could absolutely make an incredibly impressive hypercar. Eventually, McLaren will be going fully electric, Aston Martin will be going fully electric in 2025, and I'm sure we'll see a lot coming from Bugatti Remac in the next couple of years as well. 
The crazy thing is that all of these vehicles that we have seen so far are in the millions. They are clearly designed as sports hypercars with performance as the primary focus. When the Tesla Roadster comes, if it lives up to its promised specs and prices, it will be far cheaper than any of these other options, and that's because Tesla is working with this technology in all of their vehicles all the time. As Elon Musk always says, Prototypes are easy, production is hard, and producing things at scale is what brings prices down. This is how they have been able to do this with the Plaid Model S. While $130,000 is no small chunk of change, you can buy nearly 20 of them for the price of what the Remag Nevera will sell for with its faster performance. Additionally, the Plaid Model S is a fully functional four-door sedan. It seats five, has tons of cargo space in the hatchback with seats that fold, a giant frunk, in-car gaming, autopilot, and so much more that make it a great standard car. Then at the same time you can casually accelerate from 0 to 60 in around 2 seconds and hold 1020 horsepower all the way up to 200 miles per hour. The Plaid Model S is available today and if you order one it should be delivered in August. It's pretty crazy that a vehicle with these specs is available at that low of a price, especially when looking at what true electric hypercars could be bringing in the next few years. The Plaid isn't the end all be all though and I'm very excited to see all of these cars regardless of brand because they are pushing electric technology incredibly far and past what any vehicle has achieved achieved thus far. But what are your thoughts on electric hypercars? Do you think we'll see a lot of exciting development in the future, and which car are you most excited about? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, you can check out the latest Tesla news by checking out the video linked over here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.